just finishing up an oil change with Supertech conventional oil from Walmart and this begs the question uh, what kind of oil filter I use and I use a Supertech standard oil filter from Walmart a lot of people are very religious about their oil not only about the oil but also about their oil filter well this one says factory certified so I'm gonna put a new one in, I'm gonna take the old one out, we're gonna cut it open and see what's inside. What's the big fuss about people freaking out that somehow this super tech oil filters are horrible? Ignoring the part that I made a mess on the garage floor, in the name of science, here's the filter. So I finally cut the cap off of it with a jigsaw and um, it looks nice and solid as far as this part goes, like it's thick metal, no, they didn't skimp on it, that's for sure. And here's the filter, like it's just a casing for it and this is the filter itself, so now looking at it, um, it's nicely done inside with uh, metal caps so these are metal caps uh, it seems to be well glued together has a seal over here so there is definitely a seal the, the extra pieces of metal that you see is from my jigsaw cutting it I don't see any gaps or any manufacturing manufacturing defects in it it seems to be very very well put together I really, really don't see why would uh, this would not be a good filter. Let's see if we could dissect it a little bit more. Let's see how this cardboard looks like. Okay, so here's the paper part. We got it cut with a drywall knife. It's slowly coming out to open up. I'll tell you one thing, as far as the quality goes, I don't know, man, it's, it's even hard to get into this thing. So it seems to be very, very well glued in because even cutting it with a knife, it's hard to, to cut it open. So. There is a pre-mesh filter over here at the bottom. It's all nicely glued in, as you can see. This is the part that I cut off. This one is still, the glue is like super rock solid, so it holds everything together. And this is the, uh, the filtering material, some kind of like a cardboard. I'm sure it has a million micron um, holes in it. My car has 150,000 miles and still chugging along with absolutely no problem. And the truth is that the car is already falling apart. So it's at the end of his life just because of its outside and other things that will fall off uh, and, and fall out before the, the engine will. So to save yourself your money, buy one of these super tech filters and you could save yourself enough money to buy yourself a nice cool camera like this one in the dashboard. It will really help you in time.